Yeah, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasui. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, floaters. From time to time, I see patients run into the office, uh, panicking about these black things that they're seeing in their field of view. Uh, some call it, some describe it as black flies moving around. Some see like red spot moving around. It could be a streak. It could be uh, a spot. It could be multiple of them. What exactly are these um, floaters? So floaters come from the fluid at the back of the eye, which is called the vitreous uh, humor. The vitreous humor is what gives the eye its shape. And that's why nobody... I repeat, nobody goes into the vitreous, take out floaters or to take, take them out. Floaters, when they come, they come to stay. What happens is um, after a while, the brain learns to ignore it. So you don't tend to see it as often. But anytime you look at a bright light or a white background, you will see them. So they don't go away and uh, nobody takes them out. So the, uh, the meat that uh, you will probably take uh, a lot of vitamins, they will go uh, to get rid of them. Or you wash your, soak your eyes in uh, salt water to get rid of them. You lie down and uh, sleep three days straight to get rid of them. Those things just don't work. Floaters, they're part of the vitreous uh, humor. So there's nobody, nothing, nothing really takes, nothing takes them out. The only thing is, like, the, after a while, the brain gets used to it and learns to ignore those images. So that's why you don't see them often. But whenever you look at the bright, bright background of white light, you see them. So they don't go away. So let nobody be confused that um, uh, the other person went to one doctor and he took out all the floaters. They just don't. As we age, in most people, the vitreous starts to break down, and that's what we see as um, those black spots moving around. The most important thing with floaters um, is to know uh, if it's uh, acute, is it chronic, or is progressive. Those are the three most important things with uh, floaters that we should all um, get to know. Acute means uh, probably just started suddenly. Chronic means it's been there for a while. Then progressive means it's gradually getting worse. Uh, most patients will panic when they see floaters the first time, and that's what brings them into the, into the clinic. Um, floaters on its own usually is not something to panic about, except when you're seeing flashing lights with it. Acute floaters on its own could be one of a um, few things. It could be a posterior vitreous detachment, it could be a vitreous hemorrhage, or it could be a retinal tear or detachment. Uh, a posterior vitreous detachment on its own isn't much of um, uh, something to worry about because we just, all you do is just um, monitor it to make sure there's no retinal um, detachment. But if there's a vitreous hemorrhage, which means you start to see red, uh, instead of just the black, you're seeing red, then uh, it, the, whatever is the cause has to be ruled, um, ruled out. Most times it could be from diabetes. It's quite, it's quite common in diabetic patients when you have a break in the blood vessels at the back of the eye. Then in case of the retinal tear or detachment, that for sure needs um, an ophthalmologist um, intervention immediately. But either way, whenever you see these black floaters, or uh, as the case may be, black or red as the case may be, it's very important that you see an eye doctor because they need to do what we call a dilated fundus examination. The pupils have to be dilated to take a very good look at the retina to be sure that the retina is uh, intact. If the retina is intact and it's just the floaters, then all they, all they do is just um, monitor it from time to time. Usually it could, be one, it could be one month, it could be three months, it could be six months, could be a year, depending on um, what, the, what your eye doctor uh, probably saw behind the eyes. So this is what we do when it's acute. If it's chronic, then it means it's been there for a long time. And um, what we, in that case, usually, uh, if it's been there for a long time and the uh, number of floaters is not uh, increasing, or it's not increasing significantly, then it could be a couple of uh, options. So when it's chronic, we usually check if it's um, stable or unstable. Stable means the floaters, uh, when you're looking straight without moving your eyes, they don't tend to, you don't see them, they don't move around. But the unstable one means uh, whether you move your eyes or not, you keep seeing them because they keep moving, moving around.
So those unstable ones that tend to move around every time, we call them galloping gadgets, which is um, a big language for uh, the lights being cast on the back of the eye due to white blood cells uh, that's now present in the vitreous. So it's not a big deal on its own, but um, it's still advisable to have your uh, specialist or your eye doctor, as the case may be, check out why you have suddenly have um, white blood cells in the vitreous. Because usually the vitreous itself does not contain white blood cells. But um, in that case, we don't still don't need to panic. Then, when is the stable one, which means uh, when, when you see these floaters and they are stable, which means you only tend to see them when you move your eyes, then there are uh, three possible things that uh, you should be uh, looking out for. Uh, a vitreous detachment, a vitreous condensation, or something like asteroid halosis or synchysis uh, scintillans. So these are the possible causes when you have... Um, uh, when you see floaters and they tend to be chronic and stable. The other one is when it's progressive. This is where uh, there's a little cause for alarm because um, in this case, so it could be from what we call posterior uveitis or a neoplasm, which is like a masquerading sign. In this case, it's very important that uh, they do a vitreous culture to see what is uh, the underlying cause of the posterior uveitis, which is uh, an inflammation at the back of the eye. So this is basically what you need to know about floaters. So like I said before, floaters by itself is not something to worry about unless you see flashing lights with it or if you start seeing red, the red ones. The black ones by themselves is usually not a, big, um, not a big deal. But once you see any red one, it means there's uh, blood involved somewhere, and it has, to be, it has to be checked. If there's a retinal detachment, then obviously you need a 24 hours uh, intervention by your specialist uh, for, to, for surgical um, correction. So it is important whenever people complain of uh, floaters not to uh, disregard it. Floaters don't just um, jump out from nowhere. It means something is wrong. So the first thing is to go to your eye doctor, have them uh, do a dilated fundus examination. The pupil has to be dilated to have a, a complete view of the uh, back of the eye, which is the retina. Once the retina is intact, then there's, uh, there's no, really no need to panic. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Victor Obasu again. I do upload videos every week. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, please um, do so. And um, continue to share our videos. Uh, if there are comments, throw them in the comment section. If you have questions, throw them in the comment section. I'll gladly answer them. Other than that, continue to share our videos. It might, whatever we say might be common sense to you, but it doesn't mean it's common sense to others. You don't know who's going to benefit from it. So prevention, they say, is better than um, cure. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys in a week.